Mayor and members of council. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm Richard Heimsch, and I reside at 213 North Howard, and want to take this opportunity to express a little concern about the recent uh, trash and recycling change that impacts the, especially apparently, the Fort Russell neighborhood, where uh, roughly 10 days ago I got a out of the blue a postcard that said no longer will pick up be in the alley, that I have to move it to the street. Well, I've lived at that address for 44 years, and way before that time, it was always pick up in the alley. Many people uh, that I personally know and others that I have observed have made improvements. Uh, particular areas of their home or their yard constructed facilities to hold their recycling and their trash bin. Uh, this will, you know, I'm healthy enough at 73, I can move it 160 feet from the alley to my front yard, but I think this policy is very flawed, especially on my neighborhood where parking is in the street. Uh, many people do not have access through their property to the street. I think trash and recycling pickup in the alley operates smoothly. There is no parking in the alley. I have observed trucks moving freely up and down that alley for 50 years. And for this policy to be uh, announced basically two weeks before implementation without any opportunity to comment, uh, I followed the, uh, you know, recycling debate and, and uh, trash pickup items in the press and never was there mention about discontinuing alley service. Uh, on my street, for instance, parking is permitted on both sides and I think it's going to be a, a virtually a dodgeball contest for recycling trucks and garbage trucks to pick up these receptacles whereas they have a clean uh, trajectory if they continue to do it in the alley. And so thank you for your time. Uh, I wanted to express my concern not only how this decision was made but I think it's basically flawed in the mechanics of its implementation. Thank you, Richard. Uh, Tim Davis uh, is our sanitation manager, and I'm going to call him up to the podium now. Tim, if you'd please come up here. I want to talk to other folks here that, that may be in this building as well that we're going to address this. This is something that we're going to be talking about at the council admin meeting on the 11th. Um, and so, which will be next Monday, but Tim, I'd like you to comment on this because we may have others out in the crowd that I know we've had several different emails from folks so if you yes we we've heard from a number of folks since this notice was sent out by Leta sanitation um, when we first went out with the RFP to do single stream recycling the response to the RFP was um, partially um, entailed some some routing changes and LSI's interest in eliminating some of the alley service. We knew from the very beginning that we wouldn't be able to eliminate all of the alley service, but it was more of a, a safety and operational efficiency concern on their part to try to, to try to streamline this program by not only doing recycling but garbage at the streets. Um, Obviously, we, we did not implement this to inconvenience folks. Um, that was not the intent at all. Um, and like, like you said, Mayor, we'll be revisiting this next week. Um, we'll remain flexible and try to, to make this a workable program for everybody. Obviously, it's not a one-size-fits-all type of situation that we're up against. Um, there are <clears throat> areas, especially in the Fort Russell District, where I even had concerns about eliminating some of the alley service just because of the parking and the nature of, of the beast where some folks don't have 
control over who parks in front of their house and they, you know, could get blocked at times and, you know, whose fault is that if they get missed type of situation. So obviously we'll want to remain flexible and try to make this work. We've, uh, we have changed routing in different areas of the city since first implementing the roll cart program. For instance, we changed about I think there was 157 accounts up off the West A Street where we have very steep hills. And obviously the alleys are the, the last priority when it comes to snow remo removal. So we're looking at safety issues. We're also looking at larger trucks than what, you know, was run even 10, 15 years ago. You know, trucks keep getting bigger and and so forth. So that's the kind of situation that we're looking at, and that's what we're up against. Walter, you had a qu uh, I had a question for Tim, if okay. I may, Mr. Yep, Mayor. Absolutely. Uh, Tim, my understanding is that this is this is scheduled. This change is scheduled for next Monday, the 11th. Yes. And we're going to be talking about it, Gary, or the mayor, or Dan, I guess, whoever, um, at administrative on Monday, the 11th. That's correct. That's the that's the plan. Um, um, there will be a discussion tomorrow with the mayor and council leadership as to if they desire to push through with the 11th or whether that will, needs to be delayed until further council action. Well, that, if I may, yes, go that was on. my exact question. <coughs> Can we put off the change at least until we had a chance for the council to address it? I would, I would hate to make this switch next Monday. I know it may be confusing to people. I get it. But then have the council work through some type of total uh, chaos, flipping it back <laughs> to where it was, or, let me finish, or we make some modifications to it or something and just really confuse people. So my question is, is it possible to put off the Monday 11th change until we work this thing a little more? Gary, you are the It is possible to do that. It isn't a scheduled agenda item for tonight, so we can't go into it much deeper than that. But. Uh, as I said, if the mayor and council leadership wish to pursue that, then we'll issue an administrative order that can delay it if that's the recommendation. That would be my... That'll promise. happen tomorrow afternoon. I'm Roberta Radovich, 809 East B Street. Same issue, the, the garbage. Um, you know, right now, I want to point out the difference between the new neighborhoods who have driveways that lead out to the street and can <clears throat> wheel their crash cans out there. <clears throat> And those of us who must go up either a muddy alley spring and fall or a slick icy alley uh, in the winter and then try and get our cans out there, it's, it's a problem. Uh, I really don't want to do it. And ultimately what will happen is cans will be left at the front curb. However, I mean, there's already a little bit of jostling for parking. I have one neighbor who's requested I not park in front of their house because they're elderly. I have one neighbor who's asked me because the wife is coming and going early not to park in front of their house. We're pretty tight there. And trying to get the adequate room for the trash trucks to get in between vehicles and pick up cans, it's going to be a problem there. Um, also, you know, now Dee sitting there is just petrified and she told me she can't come to the microphone. And she won't. But she's got a two-foot berm of snow in front of her house. And just to get to her car, she has to walk down to the end of this, where the, where the corner is, and get out and come on out to her car. How is this woman going to be able to drag a trash can out to the front on a regular basis? It's just not happening. Now, there's a really high percentage of elderly people up in the old Fort Russell neighborhood. And I'm speaking not only for myself, but many of them. This just is a very, very unwelcome change. Thank you, Roberta. Uh, Gary, what time is our admin meeting on January the 11th? I believe admin will be at 4.30. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> D, I understand that you don't want to speak, but we are going to have an admin meeting, and we love to see our residents coming. And they will be, you can come up, and it's a small group where it's not intimidating at all. Please come up and see us, and because council will be there, and you'll get a chance to speak. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm Gail Cochran. I live at 520 East B Street uh, in the Fort Russell neighborhood. I've lived there for 34 years, 
and um, have had the garbage pickup in my alley all that time. And I've watched them come down that alley and quickly pick up the garbage and very efficiently. Uh, I have an apartment behind me and that is also on the alley and they pick up a huge dumpster there. So I called and said, why can't they pick up my garbage when they pick up the, the apartment building garbage? They said, it's a different truck. Well, I don't know about that, but uh, I don't have a tall, big, strong guy to help carry my garbage out. Two cans out and back in once a week. I think about doing it once and it just overwhelms me. Um, yeah, there's right now in the wintertime, it's amazing what it's like. And those trucks go down there. It's not an issue. I watched them. It's not an issue for them, but if they could see me going down there, it wouldn't be pretty. So <laughs> I hope that uh, the, what we're currently receiving will continue and we won't have these changes. Thank you. Hello, I'm Johanna Doyle from 322 North Howard in Fort Russell. And I'd like to thank you for listening to our concerns uh, as we face the possibility of single recycling. We'll be taking two carts down the alley to the street. And it really is impressive how finally we have snow re uh, plowing, which always comes very late to the Fort Russell area. And had there been uh, garbage bins on those streets, they would all now be tipped over onto the verge because the berm is beautifully plowed down the street. So we face significant challenges and taking these carts down the alley is truly daunting. Thanks for your listening. Thank you.